Hello, I'm standing in Wigmore Park in Toronto's Victoria Village neighborhood. Behind me is one of the entrances to the East Don Trail. Let's go check out some of the sites and see some fall colors. We are heading down into the valley of the east branch of the Don River. The East Don Trail runs through the valley roughly between Eglinton and Lawrence Avenues. There are a number of entrances to the trail system from neighborhoods along the way. We'll see some of them in this video. There are plans in the works to continue this trail farther south and connect it to the existing trail system that follows the Don River all the way north from the lakeshore to the forks of the Don and then continues along the West Branch. Here's a side trail leading off into the woods. I'm not sure it's official. It looks like it's just been made by people walking, as opposed to the trails that are paved or at least covered in gravel. Partway along this trail, we can take a short detour to a spot where we get a nice view over the valley. The fall colors look lovely from this viewpoint. Along the way, we see some stairs leading to someone's house. And at the end of this trail, we come to a hollow with a path up to a neighborhood. As any Canadian will instantly recognize, this is a toboggan hill. Now let's have a look at some fall colors along the way. The trail crosses over the Don River in a number of spots. Like many of the bridges on this trail, this one is made of weathering steel, a special steel alloy that's designed to rust without damaging its structure. Just past this bridge we come to another entrance from a neighbourhood. Here's the view from the top of this path from Winford Heights Crescent. It's quite a steep path. Looking back from the bottom toward the bridge we just crossed, we can see some fall colors, along with an apartment building on the valley rim. Now let's keep walking. Unlike the trails in some of my other videos, this is not a rail trail, but we do encounter two railway lines along the trail, both of which are over a hundred years old. This viaduct carries CP's Belleville subdivision, the main line between Toronto and eastern Ontario. This line dates back to the late 1800s. You may think this is a trestle bridge, but don't be fooled. It's actually two trestle bridges side by side. If you look closely at this photo, you'll see the trestles alternate from side to side. Each one fills a gap in the other side's trestle and supports one side of the bridge deck. In this photo, you can not only see that the footings are staggered from side to side, but also that each set of footings is built differently. I'll put a link in the description to a page with a photo of this viaduct in 1910 showing that only half of the trestles are present. As we continue north, we come up alongside the Don Valley Parkway. There's just no escaping the hustle and bustle of daily life, even in a park. To finish up, we'll take a little detour off the East Don Trail to another park that's connected to it on the west side of the valley. And you may recognize where we're going here from the look of this bridge. This is the Rainbow Tunnel. This is the side you don't see from the highway. And as you can see, it's kind of dirt dirty. It's always kind of dirty, actually. But we'll get a better look at the other side of it, which lo usually looks much nicer on the other side of the tunnel. We're passing under the second railway line. Today it's known as the Go Transit Richmond Hill Line, but it was originally built in 1906 by the Canadian Northern Railway. And now here's a better look at the side of the Rainbow Tunnel visible from the Don Valley Parkway. It's a well-known and well-loved landmark in Toronto. The tunnel under the Don Valley Parkway is nowhere near as interesting as the Rainbow Tunnel probably because you can't see it from the highway, so it's not worth painting it. On the other side of this tunnel, we reach Moccasin Trail Park. Let's have a look at a few photos from the park. In this photo, you can see the rail line at the top of the embankment behind the trees. That's the Go Richmond Hill line again. And now to end this video, here are some more fall color photos from Moccasin Trail Park. Enjoy! Enjoy!